Uh, hello, my name is Alberto Iacovoni. I'm part of MAO M.A. Zero, which is a firm that I started uh, uh, in 1997 when we got out of the, of the university. Our field of intervention is very wide. This depends on uh, how chance has, has offered us to, to do very different things, from a very small scale to a very big scale. What we like to say very often is that for us, anyway, architecture is always a media. Uh, our name, which at the beginning was meaning something different, uh, at a certain point has become Media and Architecture Office. We've been working in, in, in between um, interactive installations, uh, exhibit design, and uh, architecture and urban design. So, in, in very different scales. We like to say that architecture is a media because uh, in the um, etymological sense of the word, the medium means uh, medium, something which is in between. We think that every time we design something, uh, either it is a, um, an interactive installation, either it is a wall, a, a, a classical building made of stone, uh, we're always designing something which is in between, something which is uh, dividing realms, people, uh, spaces, relationships. And in that way we think that we can uh, look at uh, with the same approach uh, to those very different uh, means of, of intervention in space and in, in between people. My generation was in a similar condition, I think, of the generation of the architects of the Architettura Radicale. Uh, they were coming out from the, the, the period in which the modern movement, the, the, the international style was very strong and they, had, um, and they needed to make a kind of new uh, tabula rasa and to start again to try to find the, 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 the real reasons to, to make architecture. Everything was very, you know, uh, was a style, international style. Um, when we went out of the, of the university, we were, uh, we, we, we were facing the, the, the last year of the tendenza, uh, you know, of all the postmodernism uh, with Aldo Rossi, etc. And around us, ar around us, the city was, uh, uh, was something completely different. We, we didn't have the, really the tools to understand what really was happening in reality. So uh, we too, we had the, the, the need to uh, create a new tabula rasa. We, and I always say that we are a, a generation without masters. We don't have any, any, any master because our master, I mean, our masters which are, which comes from different ages and periods. Um, so the, the condition was very similar. On the other hand, I think that um, uh, the Architettura Radicale was a mo movement with many, many ambiguities. It's not the case, for example, that from the Architettura Radicale, then a part of the Architettura Radicale becomes uh, very important for the postmodernism, like Aldo Rossi and everything. Uh, because they were working in, in, in this idea of creating a tabula rasa and trying to focus on the, uh, what, what, what were the, the um, essential meaning of architecture. They were both focusing on, on relationships between people, and more political, um, political gestures, um, and on, on the other hand, they were also uh, reflecting about uh, um, what was the meaning of architecture, so the language, the, the, the symbols and everything. So I think that we are close more to this first approach. Uh, we, uh, and this is a problem for us, every time we start a new project, we try always to uh, forget what, uh, what we know in terms of uh, uh, language, hmm? in terms of forms, in terms of style, but we always try to analyze programs and sites starting from the uh, uh, starting from the relationship that could be produced or that are, that are, that are in, inside the program that we are uh, facing. The situation in uh, contemporary architecture in Rome is, um, how do you say, luci e ombre. I would rather say more shadows than, uh, than lights because uh, lights, and I mean uh, the, the contemporary architecture is really condensed in few places. You have the macro, the maxi, the, the cloud and we have other few things. But Rome in the last 20 years, that has been very wealthy years in Rome, in which the economy in Rome was really going up very, very fast, and the uh, construction, uh, the construction were really pushing the economy, uh, has been mostly built by the big developers. Uh, Roman uh, young architects uh, have a more strong theoretical approach, just because maybe they have, uh, uh, they're, they're not so busy <laughs> with, uh, with clients, maybe because we have more time to 
make speculative projects and we maybe we invest more in competitions uh, and maybe also because it, it's also because it's a cultural heritage of the city of course Rome is the city in which uh, uh, I, mean, I mean theory of architecture has, has, has always been a very important role uh, so the question is how to keep uh, you know alive and uh, Alive and, and you know, with a, with a smile in this in, in the spirit, of, uh, we say in Napoletano, ad da passano uh, We have to uh, pass the night. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. <laughs> if you think about us, Young Plus, or the Stalker Group, uh, we all we all came out as I was saying in a moment in which uh, uh, what we have learned from university was uh, was useless to uh, to understand the city. So we really went out, went out in the city went out in other cultural contexts, uh, in other cu cultural uh, heritages and traditions to find uh, the values to, uh, to act in the city. And, uh, th uh, and, and the most important thing is that we started from a very collaborative approach. Th this is something that which is remain uh, inside us, this, this will to collaborate, to create platforms, uh, to find opportunities to, to work together. So th this was a very beautiful opportunity that came out from the fact that um, one of our friends, Mario Cutuli, he is the, the, the brother of an uh, Italian journalist, Maria Grazia Cutuli, that was killed in Afghanistan some years ago. So he is part of this foundation, uh, which is dedicated to um, education. And uh, then together with the Italian government, uh, he had this opportunity to build a school in uh, Herat. So he asked us to to these three offices, uh, as uh, Young Plus and 2A Plus B, which is a uh, young firm, young, younger than us, to, to make a competition uh, to design the school. So we proposed to, to, to him to, to make, a, instead of the, a competition, a workshop uh, and a collaboration to, to, to build it together. And I think that this building, uh, incredibly, is really um, a common ground between, uh, in between us. Uh, the project has, has, has been very uh, the, the, the process of the project has been very, very easy with not particular, uh, you know, fights in between the, 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 the groups. Because I think that what is very peculiar of this building is this idea of uh, um, working on, on the idea of the community. Uh, both these three uh, firms have been working very much on the idea of the community. How can you create a, a, a space which uh, can, on one hand, uh, create a sense of community but without being imposing on, on the community, so respecting the single individualities. And this is, uh, this part of the school is exactly this one, it's a kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, a collection, um, constellations of, uh, of, of rooms uh, on a central space, on a central space which is common, but on the other hand they have also their uh, small interst interstitial spaces um, for each uh, classroom. And then the third thing is that uh, this idea of the color, I think that this was uh, 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 something, a kind of, how do you say, scommessa. Uh, when you make a really a challenge to say, okay, I want to take this blue, which is the blue of the lapis lazuli, something which is I think in some uh, public buildings and in mo mosques in, uh, in Afghanistan, and then to, to use it for the school, so to create a monument, a real monument. Uh, we were a little bit worried about how the people could, could receive this thing. But then I think that every time you um, respecting uh, the single individuality, so you create a monument in which people can identify themselves. I think that this is a very uh, good approach. Well, I think that uh, the key word is simple, being simple. Uh, we have to be simple for many reasons. First, because if you work in a, in a situation in which uh, sometimes you don't have uh, these huge means, you know, to maybe to have uh, um, uh, both on the, on, the, on the production process uh, uh, both also on the design process. You, you, don't, you don't have this, this incredible means of to make uh, you know, parametric uh, uh, production of, of objects and everything. And maybe you have to deal with the uh, people who work in a, setting up a, an exhibition. You have to be simple. You have to, 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 to find simple solutions, simple technologies. If, if, if we talk about uh, how a person deals with space and how technology can uh, make this person be an actor or a, a, an author more than of simply a, um, a user of a space. Of course, it, uh, technology is very important, but many times uh, uh, we need uh, uh, 
people, I mean architects, designers, interaction designers, they really not, are not focusing about the idea of simple interaction. Um, simple interaction means that you have to uh, understand what uh, you are provoking, uh, you have to understand what you can do and what you cannot do, and you have also to maybe act in, uh, in, in, a, in a group of several people and not be controlled in your interaction, it has to be spontaneous. Um, so if you follow these two principles, uh, things become also very simple when you design. Uh, in that case, for example, in the, in the play project, uh, uh, it was so simple to say that uh, a projection occupies a space as a volume, that maybe we could, uh, uh, we could make an exhibition uh, based on retro projections of, of videos, uh, um, uh, just folding uh, the screen around this uh, uh, immaterial but real volumes of the video projection. And then uh, the thing was very simple, but then if you look at the real production of the exhibition, it was very complicated. I think for me it's just a, a, a differentiation in, in, in the language. I think that nowadays design sometimes is also used instead of project. Of, of project. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how the two words now are used in, the, in, the, in a proper way. Uh, I, I don't know really what is the meaning of design. I mean, how do you feel design in, uh, in English? Uh, uh, for us, for example, design is more product design. I'm, for example, uh, the, uh, the director of, of a school in Rome, which is called the Instituto Europeo di Design, and we make uh, interior design, product design, fashion design, everything is design. But then I think that also there, uh, in product design, uh, you have, uh, and mostly nowadays, in which you, uh, you need to have this, this wider view of what you're doing, the fact that uh, this thing is made of, uh, of components coming from all over the world, all the life cycle assessment, all these things are related to um, uh, complexity and, susten and, and sustainability. Everything needs to be a project. In, in a way, everything has to manage all these different, di uh, has to manage this complexity. And then it's true that uh, maybe we could say that design is the, the one thing that you do, and then the project is something that is wider in your life. Me, for example, uh, in, in, in the firm, uh, for me it's very important to write. I wrote three books, and every book has been very important to rework my past, our past, and to project it in the future. Uh, and every project is, is, is a step, maybe is a, is a component of this, of this wider uh, project. But anyway, I think that uh, it's true that the, the, the question of making projects is, is, is a very, it's a question that is not affecting architects, but everybody today, because uh, it puts things in, in a different, uh, context in, in, in a different light.